Welcome to Tech Zamir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How often you upgrade or update uh, your self-hosted IR? Let's say that if Microsoft have introduced a bug in new self-hosted IR version, uh, can you downgrade, uh, downgrade uh, self-hosted IR to previous version? Um, now, let's take a look first of all how often. Um, so here is a, a document from Microsoft that tells you like, okay, if you need to read the data between two networks, uh, you know, and uh, uh, self-hosted IR is really helpful there. So Especially when you are reading the data from uh, your own premises with the cloud uh, and uh, you install this uh, on one of the node or more than one nodes and then uh, you can run the pipelines uh, that will be uh, they will be used to extract the data from your own premises and load to the cloud and vice versa now if uh, you want to go ahead and take a look where exactly upgrade is available so you will go to the self-hosted IR so this is self-hosted IR I have created under the manage you have manage here integration run times and then you see self hosted IR so you can uh, click right there and uh, once you there go there then you are gonna see auto upgrade so you have option that you can enable auto upgrade or uh, you can disable now you can uh, have option as uh, to schedule as well so if you want to do ha go ahead and enable and you can schedule the time you want where when your pipelines are not running so let's go to the next part how often uh, this uh, upgrade is available so if if you see right here self host dry integration runtime every month which includes a new feature release bug fixes and uh, enhancements so now that's great uh, because every month uh, you're gonna uh, get this upgrade going on and uh, you know that can help you to fix the bugs and uh, also bring some new features uh, now there could be possibility the Microsoft has introduced a new version but uh, uh, it actually broke things in your data factory in that case uh, you need need to go to the previous version that's possibility and uh, you will not have really link to download previous version because uh, if you will go and uh, search uh, uh, let's say we say download uh, self-hosted IR self-hosted hosted uh, integration runtime and we go here and uh, we go to the download page I'm gonna try to go to download page so notice here uh, once we click on download it only give you two versions uh, actually one version so that's the latest version it's given you so 5.17 and then whatever the numbers come with it uh, so if you want to go to the 5.16 uh, you know that's not available anymore here so in case uh, you have some problem with the latest version and the Microsoft figure out there is a problem that's uh, uh, not working in your Azure Data Factory what they can do they can provide you link so you will not be able to go 5.16 or 5.15 or all that by yourself or you already whenever you download you know from the from here keep those versions with you and in case uh, that happen and you feel like oh my data factory self-hosted IR was working great and now after installing the latest version I have some problems and I need to revert back then in that case you will be uninstalling and reinstalling your self-hosted IR and uh, you know that's what you will do I have a complete video video on that how to do that you can watch that I will put the uh, link here in some description and also as a card so you can do that but Microsoft will be providing you the some uh, download link for the previous version if you have problem with the latest version so we learn a couple of things from here it's uh, pretty much available every month we have uh, option to uh, upgrade automatically and we can also schedule and we can also disable and uh, go manually download and then upgrade as well so there is all options are available for us and if we want to downgrade that's possibility but you want to confirm with Microsoft uh, like if there is any issue with the latest version and once they say that yes there is a problem and you need to install previous version that might be helpful so ask them provide you the link for the download and you download and uh, install that thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video